This video is the demonstration of plain stress analysis. We will discuss what is the importance of plain stress and when we can consider this. Consider an example. This is a bracket made up of steel material. It has constant wall thickness of 5 millimeters. It is bolted at the hole locations and is loaded from this curved surface in its lengthwise direction, that is x direction. This problem can be simulated treating this as a 3D analysis. But because of its in-plane loading and the distribution of stress along the thickness, this problem also can be treated as plane stress example. In the plane stress analysis, the stress along the thickness of the body will be considered as constant. In the plane stress analysis, it should be made sure that the planar surface should lie on the x and y plane only. I repeat, for the plane stress analysis, the planar surface should lie on the x y plane only. Why are we not doing a direct 3D analysis? What is the reason to simplify this geometry into a 2D problem? The reason being, when we are doing the analysis of this 3D problem, we use 3D elements. It can be either a hexagonal elements or a tetragonal elements. Those elements will have the more number of nodes compared to the 2D elements. More the number of nodes means more is the computation time involved. Hence, this problem can be simplified into 2D which has the node count much much lesser than the 3D analysis, hence reduced computation time. There is no compromise on the behavior or the stress distribution or the deformation of the 3D analysis and plane stress analysis. Even that exercise also will be shown in this tutorial. Let us begin with the tutorial. Create a new static structural analysis file. Enter the name of the file as 2D stress. Enter. The geometry of this 2D plane stress example need to be treated as two-dimensional. Hence, this analysis type should be changed to 2D. Import the CAD geometry. Right click on the geometry. Import. The bracket is already in the temporary memory. Pick on that part. Double click on the geometry to open the design modeler of ANSYS workbench. The design modeler is now starting. Under the ANSYS Workbench window, 
select the units as millimeters. Pick on OK. You can observe the update symbol, which means the geometry is imported but it is not updated. Hence, pick on generate. Change the analysis type in the advanced geometry option to 3D. Now pick on generate. The CAD geometry is now imported into the design modeler. But this is a 3D model. We need to convert it into a 2D model. Which we can do it by extracting its mid surface. To extract the mid surface, pick on Tools. Pick on Mid Surface. Under the face pair, select the front face, press hold control, select the back face. Pick on apply and make the selection method to be automatic. Now pick on generate. The mid surface is now extracted for this body. Once the geometry is simplified, enter into the project page. Now open the model. Right click, edit. We can now observe the geometry. For visibility purpose, let us set the window as a one viewport and reset the layout of the window. Pick on View, Windows, Reset Layout. The geometry is now imported. In geometry, under the behavior, it has taken as plane stress. Ensure that plane stress is selected. Make sure that this geometry or the 2D planar surface is lying on the XY plane only, which means when you see the orientation, the planar surface should lie on the X and Y plane only. Then only the plane stress analysis is valid. Under the geometry, select this bracket surface. It is having the thickness of 5 mm. It has taken this value 5 mm because the mid surface was being extracted for a body which has the thickness 5 mm. Right click on the mesh, pick on update. The mesh is now updated for the body. To change the element size, right click on the mesh, insert, pick on sizing. Ensure that the body is highlighted 
and select this body. Pick on apply to confirm the geometry. Enter the element size as 5. Make sure that the update symbol should be updated. Right click, pick on update. This is the mesh which is finer in comparison to the previous case. Apply the boundary conditions and the loading now. Right click on the static structural, pick on insert, pick on the fixed support. Make sure that the edge or the curve is selected. Select the cylindrical edge, the cylindrical edge, pick on apply. Observe these two holes are now fixed. To apply the force on the body, right click on the static structural, insert, pick on force. To apply the force on the edge, make sure that the edge is selected. Now select the edge on the model. Pick on apply. The force need to be applied in the positive x direction. Hence, ensure that the force is defined by the coordinate system. Under the x component, apply 100 Newton force. Insert the results of interest. Insert stress. Pick on maximum principal stress. Also, right click insert stress. Pick on minimum, sorry, equivalent von Meister stress. Right click on the solution. Pick on solve. The ANSYS workbench solution status can be monitored. The solution is now completed. Once the solution is complete, retrieve the results, the maximum principal stress and the equivalent stress. Let us record the maximum principal stress which is 1.15 and the maximum principal stress which is also 1.15. Now let us do the analysis for the actual 3D problem and ensure that both the results are same. Enter into the project page. Create a static structural file. Enter this as 3D stress. This geometry need to be 3D now. Hence, analysis type is set to 3D. In the earlier case, that is plane stress analysis, this analysis type was set to 2D. Please remember. Right click on the geometry, pick on Import geometry and the bracket can be imported. Once the geometry is imported, right click on the geometry, pick on edit. Ensure the unit of measurement as millimeters. Pick on OK. Now select Generate. The CAD geometry will be now imported. This process is similar to what we did for the plane stress analysis. But here we are not going to extract the mid surface because we are treating this body as the 3D body itself. Let us go back to the project page and enter the model of 3D stress. Let us apply the same loading and boundary conditions. 
insert the mesh sizing as phi. Ensure the geometry by selecting on the body, pick on this body, pick on apply. Now pick on update mesh or generate mesh. Once the mesh is generated, right click on the static structural, pick on insert, pick on the fixed support. Fix the whole locations. Pick on apply. Right click on the static structural, insert, pick on the force. The force need to be applied on this face. Pick on apply to ensure the geometry selection. The force need to be defined by the coordinate system. Under X axis, 100 Newton force will be applied just like a previous case. Once the loading and boundary conditions are applied, insert the results of interest, stress, maximum principal stress, stress, equivalent or von Meiser stress. Solve the problem. Please make sure currently we are solving a 3D problem. The maximum principal stress observed for this will be 1.49 which is approximately equal to sorry the result is 1.149 which is equal to 1.15 and the equivalent stress also is the same. When we go back to the plane stress analysis, the results of the plane stress analysis also reach the same. You can observe here, this is the plane stress analysis and you can observe in this model that this is an actual 3D problem with the 3D mesh. To ensure the number of node counts, pick on the mesh, pick on the statistics and observe the node count to be approximately 3500 for 3D analysis and for 2D analysis the node count was mesh statistics it was half it is only 1500 which means the node count for the 2D analysis was almost 50% compared to 3D analysis the computation time for 2D analysis is less. The results are the same. Now let us animate the results. Let us come back to the plane stress analysis problem. Pick on the results. To animate the results, pick on the animate button. These windows can be minimized for better visibility. Set the perfect orientation and observe the stress to be happening at the whole locations. The windows can be split into two halves. One geometry can be used for visualizing the one window can be used for visualizing the geometry and the other window can be used for the simulation or the animation. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please visit and subscribe my channel.